Hey, what's up, guys? It's an Amikro NJ, aka Ide Alex Hughes. And I, I just wanted to share with you guys this cool new animation um sequence motion video that I did in After Effects in the premiere, basically in After Effects. And this was actually like the first kind of this was actually the first kind of stuff I'm doing like this. And it was pretty cool. And like you know, I said, let me share with you guys. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you guys. You know what went down. What went down. So well, as you saw it in the beginning of the video, that was um just. A promotional video for like I don't know the word is promotional for like an event like you said if you watched it you know in in the uh, the innovation expo the innovation expo you can go back and watch it to watch it to check it again but that, that was basically what they told me to do like they told me to do that based on the sample that they gave me that they gave me a video kind of a video like that and they said I should make something based on that and I cannot show you guys that video because of copyright claims you know YouTube and I don't even know who made it so like I'm supposed to be like ah, you, you stole my footage so basically that's what it looks like and basically everything was done in After Effects basically every single animation you see there every single thing there was done in After Effects only using just basic tools funny enough basic tools and, and um, you know basic functions but like I did it to my own twist you know the kind of skills where you get the kind of skills that I've forgotten so I just did it in my own style, but but everything was done in After Effects, yes, except for the sound design and just like the combination of two. Because that video, believe it or not, is made up of four different videos. If you notice, you can go back and watch it. If you actually notice that there's like four different videos combined into one, you can actually notice. You can actually see which one is single, 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 single but more that in the video. So basically. I, I, I just use Premiere to make the sound design and to just combine them together. Okay, here we are in After Effects, and um, being an After Effects we works with like only one video per time. So I actually had to divide the sequence because they gave me a script to work with. So I divided the script into four parts. So I will animate each part to the end of each part. I, I don't know if you guys grab what I mean. I will animate each part to the end of each part. I don't know how to put it but you grab you, you get the concept you understand so i animated each part based on the how i cut it on the script and each time i'm done i'll export it and keep it somewhere then edit the next one so I'll start again but there's a key factor because there are two different sequences and like you know each um sequence ended with like a color so how did i match the color because if you're someone that does graphic design someone that does anything related to pictures photos videos you will know that you should know that each picture has each color has their own hue number hue tone i don't i don't know what's well, that number that code that you put in a particular shade of color before a particular hue of color each color has their own unique code so and it's difficult for you to match those colors you know by those eyeballing you have to actually have those codes so basically how i did it that each sequence i ended with a color i would save that number, I will copy the number and save it in a sticky note. When I want to start the next sequence, I will start it in that. Use I will use that same color using that same code you know, to make it more continuous, make it look seamless. That's actually how I achieved that seamless look. Where um, at first glance, you might know that there are four different videos. All right, then each part actually has its own unique style. They had their own. It had its own unique take. Its own unique animation style. Um, actually, actually, um, the whole entire sequence it was filmed is a 4K sequence at 60 frames per second. 60 frames because I wanted it to be like smooth, look smooth, you know, 60 FPS. Those guys, that's a big FPS frames per second. That's one for another video. I can't explain FPS now. I said don't sleep this night or whenever you're watching this. Anyway, so that's that about the settings I used. But like each one has its own style. I want to make each one unique but still rhyme with what it was talking about so that's actually how i did it i actually didn't actually jot okay i did i did i did actually jot some animations down in my head like i would just like script each animation that i'm doing i was like typing the animation down as, as i'm doing it in my head like i'm doing it in my head right so i'll be taking my phone or my laptop and type how i'm going to do the animation then save it for later so when i get to the computer later at home or at work i will not animate that in so that's actually how actually very convenient that you know how to do that and you to like 
jot this down so, so when you're animating you don't get confused as such then also another thing when you're using after effects because it's a 4k sequence or so basically if it's your system for it to get smooth play black um play black payback play payback playback playback you should really drop your playback resolution because after effects unlike premiere pro renders in real time so like as you're playing is rendering unlike premiere that it doesn't render like you play and you render i don't know if you guys am i even correct i don't even know but like after effects renders as it's going so it's going to take less more time to play each frame so you don't like drop your resolution down so like your playback resolution down so as you're playing through it's going to be smoother the way you want to export not take it back up then that's just that but also it depends on your system if your system is like powerful enough to take full resolution then fine that's yours so oh my basically after all those sequences were done i used basically like you saw the basic shapes the stars the tools the animation if you want a detailed editing breakdown on this particular sequence like detailed like i can't go into details now i'm just giving you guys like concepts of how i did it if you want like a detailed step by step step by step even if i can do it too so please please calm down yeah yeah you have to be calming down okay but like if you want like a more detailed edition of how i edited that then it's fine because like it does basically keyframes 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 and more keyframes keyframes basically animation keyframing you see master the keyframing you can make anything so they basically uh, as i was saying after combining Tom finishing all of them in After Effects separately, I took them into Premiere Pro and just added them to like so, so they will match it their timing properly so that they will look seamless. They will look like I said it's so just one big sequence. Then that was that. Then the most important part of any form of MP4 file video is the sound design. Because I didn't do this in Premiere Pro Direct, I had to like design the sound design from scratch. Each 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 sound each sound was uniquely picked for each action that was going on you know what let's listen to the video without the music and just the sound design to give you guys a feel of what it actually is so let's go Okay, so after you just listen to that now, that sound design is like more professional. It, it has that professional taste to it. Like you know what, this guy is good. That kind, that kind of stuff. So always learn your sound design. And another thing, when you're editing, I could basically have done that in an entire one minute sequence. Like one minute sounds small for animation for any video. It sounds small. It's maximum time that you can upload on like an Instagram video, an Instagram post, one minute. Like that's maximum. So it sounds short. But like when you're dealing with animation, it sounds so but like woo, there are so many like little keyframes, there are so many compositions, there are so many timelines, there are so many frames that stack up on top of each other that to do that in one sequence, you have like you can have above you get it to a hundred lines of animations. I'm not joking, a hundred even if, if if not more. But like you know, when you come down, you do them, then it can be smaller. So like if I did that in like one sequence, it's going to look not possible but that's where the disadvantage come if there's a mistake in like the 35 to 36 second is a mistake maybe the key are too short the time is just small or like you just jumped or you caught by mistake it happens you're gonna have to go back and you might end up destroying your footage like you don't mm. so i broke it down i took 20 seconds down 
25 seconds, you know. Like that, you know, that's between it little by little, it's most more about some of Poco and Poco in Spanish. Just to like make it more easier for you. Basically, that's that. Well, that's been it. My name is Ida Alexis this time and you're watching Dynamic Range and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.